What's up everyone, James here and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Aquarium Water Mini Test Kit by NT Labs. Um, I was kind of gifted this product by NT Labs to uh, try out. Now I actually did want the full test kit that they do but unfortunately due to the pandemic um, supply of test kits is like in high demand at the moment so they only had this one to offer so I might pick one up um, on Amazon or some or, or in a shop or something um, at a later date so I can uh, take a look at that one and give a, a sort of a more detailed overview of that that kit but for now this is the mini test kit um, I really like the product packages that NT Labs do. I don't know what it is about them, but I just feel that they, they make a real effort on their, uh, their actual packaging and stuff. Um, and then with this test kit specifically, um, it gives all the measurements um, to what you're looking for when you do the test of the specific things. So this only tests for three different things, which is ammonia, nitrite, and pH. Um, obviously the other test kits would test for the other bits and pieces like your water hardness, carbonate hardness and nitri yeah, nitrate. Um, but yeah, this one only just does the, the three. And I guess you could say that these are the three, you know, quite important ones that you would need to test really for. Um, the other ones are sort of uh, just additional extras sort of thing. So uh, yeah, let's have a look at it and uh, see what we get inside. Okay, so this is the kit. So inside you get a lot of different things. So you get your pH solution, um, you get one bottle of ammonia solution, two bottles of ammonia solution, and three bottles of ammonia solution, and you get one bottle of nitrate solution, nitrite, sorry, um, solution. And then you get three test tubes, which are pretty decent. They're quite solid. I've dropped these a few times and they haven't broke on me yet. And uh, you get some cool stickers if you want to label up the uh, test tubes as well so you don't get confused on what is what. And like I said, all the charts are on here, which is really cool. It's recommended in the uh, manual that um, you use natural light to measure the uh, solution. Um, but uh, I found that you can sort of uh, get on relatively well by just using um, whatever light that you've got around but I guess to give the more precise results then yeah natural light is always going to be better. Alright so for the purposes of the video this is the aquarium that we're going to test out this is my planted aquarium um, so hopefully the water's on par with this uh, I did a water change at the weekend so this is only a couple of days afterwards so should should be pretty decent in terms of the results so uh, yeah let's take a look. Okay, we're going to try nitrite first of all um, in, uh, in the bottle. So what you do is you're going to get 5 ml of water and put it in this uh, test tube and then you are going to do 5 drops of the solution, give it a good shake and then wait 2 minutes and then read the results. Um, I'm going to be using one of these like cow pulse syringes because I always find they're like the lifesaver if you've got kids. Um, so let's get five mil from here. This is the only first thing that I find a bit of a pain is that you have to take water out of your aquarium to put in a, uh, a little uh, test tube like this. Whereas with test strips, you're just dipping it into the, uh, the actual uh, water itself. But uh, yeah, still good. So one, two, three, four, five. Close it up, give it a good shake, and then we'll come back to that in a second. So with the pH, um, this time again another 5 mils um, of water in your test tube. One, two, three, four, five. Give that a good shake. This one you can get the results on pretty quickly. Uh, 
And then lastly, we're going to do ammonia. So with the ammonia one, you have to do bottle one and you have to do five drops and bottle two, five drops and then bottle three, five drops. And then you have to wait 10 minutes for this one. This is again, another reason why they become a bit tedious if you were doing this. And if you had like every um, test available, that's gonna be a bit of a pain. Because right. your house is gonna look like a science lab. <clears throat> so you give that a good shake then we'll leave that and see what happens. So again, we're getting the test results from my pH. According to this, my pH is, let's look at that. I don't think you can see in the natural light here, but it looks like my pH is probably 7.5. Looks darker on the camera um, than what it is. Maybe eight. Yeah, let's say eight. Yeah, so uh, maybe I'd like that to be a little lower. Um, I'm not, not sure what's currently increasing my pH in there, but uh, yeah, always worth checking. Um, one thing about this, obviously this is the nitrite, so it's been a couple of minutes now um, and no detectable stuff yet, but we'll, we'll leave it another minute or so. And then the ammonia one. And we're looking for a nice yellow color because yellow means that there's nothing left in there. Um, but anything higher obviously gives you warning flags and uh, danger flags. So yeah, I'll come back in 10 minutes time and we'll take a look at it then. So whilst we're waiting for our uh, results to come back from the uh, liquid test kit, I'm just gonna do a quick test through these API test strips that I purchased. Um, and uh, see what kind of results we get from that. And you can see how much quicker that is as well, because obviously you just dip the test and then it's out. But uh, we'll give it a few minutes. Okay, so it's um, been 10 minutes and uh, yet again, the solution I would say for the pH is about 8.0, um, which if you look at my test kit, shows me that my um, water is 7.5, maybe 8.0. Uh, hard to tell there. What do you reckon? 7.5, 8.0. So pretty spot on. Um, I've got zero nitrate and the test strip shows zero as well. Apparently I've got some little bit of nitrate in there. I love this uh, test at the moment. It's showing that all my parameters are wrong, and uh, and also the uh, the liquid test kit is showing. Um, again, you probably could argue maybe just a tiny bit of ammonia. So it looks like I'm now about to do a water change, um, which is absolutely hilarious, and it had to be for this test. <laughs> But yeah, as you can see, uh, the time it takes to do these tests, obviously test strips are quicker. This one takes longer, but probably getting more precise results than you are with that. Although having said that, two have been pretty spot on, only one was a little bit off. Look in this aquarium, um, it's really bizarre how uh, I've got a slight bit of ammonia considering there's hardly any fish in here. There's one garami and a couple of Corydoras and I've got a molly in there, but that's it. Um, but I might, it might be due to feeding. Um, I tend to do feed quite a bit, um, just because I try to encourage my Corydoras to breed. Um, so that might be why. Um, so I think my final thoughts are um, that it is a great product. Um, again, I like, really like the packaging that NT Labs come in. Um, I like the fact that uh, everything's on the box there. 
Um, you get a few stickers and the, obviously the quality of the, the stuff that you get is really nice. Um, I've been using this kit for quite a few months now. Granted, I'm not using it every week or every day or whatever, so this solution is lasting for quite a long time and I've barely even you know, touched the surface in what the bottle's got in there. Um, so yeah, that's great. Uh, the only thing that I would say that is a downside to any liquid test kit is, is obviously time. Now in the society we live in, you know, time is always a factor, um, unfortunately. So, you know, having something that takes 10 minutes, I mean, uh, at the ammonia one, I guess, but uh, the other ones are, are quite quicker, but having something that takes that long, sometimes isn't always that, you know, applicable for, for people. And, uh, you know, that, that could be a big issue. Um, I know that shouldn't be the case when you're considering an animal's well-being and factoring in that, but uh, unfortunately it is these days. In terms of price, I mean, compared to the, the full-sized version of this liquid test kit from NT Labs, which is about 33 pounds, I believe it is, or, or something along those lines, this one is 13 pound. Now, weighing that into the fact that test strips, for example, I don't think I've got any, um, yeah, test strips, for example, from API costs something like six quid. So when you're factoring in speed and uh, results, you know, it, it, and the price, it's a bit difficult to, you know, to know what to go for. But I mean, if you've got the money, definitely go for the liquid test kits because 100% they give you a more um, precise result than what you would from a test strip. So it really all depends. And I mean, some could argue uh, that you don't even really need to be testing your aquariums that often um, but that's a whole different story on its own and uh, one I don't want to get into for this video review. Is this test kit worth it then? You know that's the question. I think it's definitely got its place in the market um, being that uh, NT Labs obviously their, their full test kit is quite raved about as being one of the best. Um, it's a, for all, for all anybody watching this internationally, uh, NT Labs is a UK based uh, company um, but in terms of comparison to other test kits, obviously you've got the likes of JBL's uh, test kit, there's API, there's, a, you know, obviously anti-labs, and there's a, there's a few other ones out there. Um, they are probably about 10 pounds more, you know, than this, if not more, um, 10 to 15 pounds, I think. And obviously the test strips are like half this price as well as this so I think they found a little gap in the market in terms of like where this would stand and obviously this is going to give you better results than what a test strip would so I think there is something there whether I'd pay the price of 13 pounds I don't know I'm, I'm sometimes a bit fussy when it comes to <laughs> like how much I spend on equipment and stuff um, I know I shouldn't be but uh, sometimes I am I think I think I would probably save up to be honest and buy the full kit because I think for an extra sort of uh, 10 to 15 quid you probably get more for your money in the, in terms of the, 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 the fuller kit so you know other stuff that you can measure but uh, I definitely get why that there is a reason for this product and obviously that hits that sort of that middle area if you haven't got all the money to spend on the big kits um, but you want something better than what a test strip is. So I hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think of this kit if you've tried it in the comments below. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and uh, if you could make sure you hit that subscribe button. I put out weekly videos on all my fish keeping antics so hopefully there's something for everybody and until next time you stay safe.